Hi there, this is Lynn Allen and welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you for joining me. Now if you tuned in a couple of weeks ago for my last AutoCAD tip, and I hope you did, you know that I talked about the path array which was added into AutoCAD 2012. Now I'm going to take a look at the rectangular array which has been around forever <laughs> but was seriously updated inside of AutoCAD. So we're going to take a look. All right, so I am in a 3D drawing. Don't let that dismay you if you're not in 3D. It works exactly the same in 2D. It just looks cooler <laughs> in 3D, right? So I want to array these two objects right here. So I'm going to come up here to the rectangular array command, and I'm going to select those two objects. You can window, you can pick them one at a time, whatever works for you, whatever makes you happy. And I'm going to go ahead and hit an enter after I've selected the object. And you will see that by default, AutoCAD gives me a four by three array or three by four, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> four columns and three rows. So that's probably not what you want, but that is the default inside of AutoCAD 2000 third seam. Inside of AutoCAD 2012, there's really no default setup. You have to type in the number of rows and the number of columns. But I can get a really good idea how my array is gonna look, so I can make modifications if I need to, right? Let me show you all the different ways you can modify it. You will see that there is a grip on the very last object in the columns on the right hand side. And if you click on that grip, I love this, it's very easy to add more columns, all right? Same is true with rows. Upper left hand corner, the very last row of objects, on the left hand side you will see that it's easy to add more rows visually by selecting the grips. Now, if you're an overachiever and you want to kill two birds with one stone, easy, easy, grab the grip in the upper right hand corner. That will allow you to very quickly change the rows and or the columns at the same time. Okay. For those of you who are overachievers, you know who you are. What else can I do? I can control the spacing between the columns by selecting on the object right next to the original. Check that out. Ooh, awesome. Same is true for the distance between the rows. Look at that by grabbing the grip on the object nearest the original. So it takes you a while to get used to what grip does what, but it's so visual that it's easy for you to figure it out. Okay, so that's for those of you who are really into grips. <laughs> and if you're inside of AutoCAD 2012, the grip thing isn't, isn't really happening so much. You have to do it from the ribbon. So I can come up here and say, oh, I really want, you know, four columns and I want, you know, five rows, whatever works for you. You can make the changes manually. Now, one thing I want you to remember, you remember this when I talked about the path curve, is that even though it feels like these are just one big block of objects, a big block of objects, you can still manipulate them individually, which is something I love. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select by holding my control key down, I'm gonna select just a couple of these. All right, just a couple of the objects. And then I'm gonna hit the delete key, poof they're gone. Or I could have rotated them or I could have scaled them. So even though it feels like they're just one big block of an array, you can still edit the objects individually. Want to put it back? No problem. Select the array. You will see a cool option that says reset array. Puts everything back the way it was the last time you were in the array command. Very cool, right? So those are rectangular arrays. Use them. Try them. They will help you live happily ever after in the AutoCAD world. Thanks for joining me. See you in a couple weeks.